Trump's USA. No Trump. No KKK. No fascist USA. For the most part, things were loud. Uh, did get a little tense, and the officers kind of separated some groups that were um, loudly arguing with one another. Um, we noticed that Milo came in. Uh, uh, we started letting people in, I think, like around 11.30. And Milo came in and had a crowd of about, crowd, a group of about 25 to 30 people around him. Um, it's incredibly disruptive. All of my classes, except for one, have been canceled for next week up until Wednesday. And as a result, we're literally missing our education because the university, which actually has at this point canceled the whole idea, but damage has been done, as you can see, um, wanted to support free speech at the cost of our own education. And not only the fact that we can't go to class because our teachers have canceled them, but there are many students who are afraid to even leave their homes for the next week because of these groups of white supremacists um, that are going to be coming out here and targeting them because that's what people like Myler are telling them to do. So for the most part, uh, we were pleased that our exercise in security went well. Uh, there were no injuries, uh, few arrests, and Mr. Yiannopoulos, who knew that he was coming in as a private citizen, uh, did come in, got the same kind of treatment any spontaneous visit of his of this magnitude would have gotten and we'll all go home in one piece tonight